dear viewers assalamu alaikum today we will discuss another tool in graphpad prism 9.2 version in this tool we will discuss that how we can analyze our data like antibacterial activity or wound healing activity or different type of data in which we can make graphs along with standard error of mean or standard deviation so first of all how we will make our table so first we will go to new project file like here and from here we can make if we have a data on our x axis also then we will choose this x y column and from here if we have three entries like we have in triplicate our results in triplicate then we will uh, select this option we can go to single y column also when we don't have the results in triplicate but here we can make in triplicate or we, we have another option we can select uh, like we have five different values in our data then we can from here we can select five so in this way uh, we will select our uh, new database or new project file so from here uh, when we are making this graph so first we should have a uh, values in our x-axis and uh, y-axis so for this I have opened this value like here we have number of days like 0 2 4 7 these are representing on x-axis data and uh, on y-axis uh, let's suppose we have this activity so I am going to make a title of this column like uh, we have wound healing activity or wound healing percentage so from here we will make a data like we have three columns in y-axis now after this we can make a graph for this or we can select this data or without selecting we can analyze from here we can so from here we can go to analyze data from here we can go to recently used that uh, like row statistics i have used recently in uh, them, some other uh, options that uh, I will show you in my next videos that how it what is nonlinear regression or t test. Uh, we can go to from here analyze data or directly we can grow from here. So here we have this uh, option button. From here we will go to row statistics. Here is also an option of recently used row statistics. Okay. Now this is our group 1 which shows that this is group 1 and uh, 3 readings in group 1 on different days. So from here it will give us a mean value and also with standard deviation and number of uh, readings or data or we can go from here SEM analysis that is standard uh, error of mean. So we can select from here or we can select standard deviation. And from here it will make a graph directly so if we go to create a new graph of the results and okay okay now we have this uh, row statistics of this data one and this is our row statistics it will give us table for our results so here we have number of days mean values standard error of mean and number of triplicates uh, number of replicates so it is in triplicate value it gives a standard error of mean for each value and here is the mean for each value and if we go to graph so here we have this graph for row statistics so it is row means with standard error of mean so all these values are given here for, for group one so we can change from here we can change the type of uh, graph so we can insert from here 
new graph of existing data so we can change like uh, I am going to select this one with standard error of mean okay so it is like this and uh, if we have more than one data for here like here we have wound healing for uh, some values like here we have wound healing for yes we have wound healing for infection type in these uh, data here and uh, we will paste here like here and we can paste select here import data Hold, paste, no, so it is not taking zero, so we can manually write this one zero, and then we can paste our data here. Now let's suppose we have this data is different 12, 30, 45, it is 45, it is 90. I have changed my values and now look at can make again this table or it came here the second one which is wound healing burn wound healing for now this data represents that this is so we can type here from it is actually I think here from here it will come to the wound healing infection we can directly type here wound healing infection now uh, we have to organize this data or we have to make different colors to change this so mm -hmm. we can go to different colors from here or we can go to more color schemes from here we have different it represents number of days and here is the wound healing percentage on the uh, y-axis so in this way we can make a graph or we can change graph from here color scheme background or insert new type of graph from here we can also make a bar graph again I am going to change colors more color schemes so in this way we will make and uh, here we have an option of mm, let
we have uh, uh, no values in the x-axis only we have uh, different groups like here I am going to show you that Here we have uh, there is no data on the x-axis only we have these uh, different groups which represents this data on the uh, y-axis for uh, that kind of like here zone of inhibition for uh, SRS and E. coli for that kind of data uh, we will make a graph like uh, we will make a data like this so we will only select groups not xy columns so from here we will go to new project file and uh, from here we will select group data now it is only uh, groups so we have two different groups or three di different group in each one or single group so from here like here so in group A we have two values group B we have two values and in this way so after this we will insert data like here I am going to paste from my this one data so here like here I am going to select this one copy and I am going to paste here this is our control one and uh, from here this is our treated one copy. so here we have this treated one paste so for this I am going to write here like control control this we will again go to analyze again we will apply row statistics okay from here so if we want to make st uh, this data with standard deviation then we will make okay if we need standard error of mean then we will select standard error of mean and then we have this result row statistics comes in the result section so it is here it is mean of the control standard error of mean and we have two replicates similarly we have mean standard error of mean and two replicates and for this we have an option of graph from here so now we will make a graph from here because we don't have selected the uh, tick we didn't tick that if uh, that it should make uh, directly graph so now we will choose from here and after this we it will make a graph like from here uh, I am going to make this graph now this is our graph which gives standard error of mean this is the above value and it is below value and from here uh, we can select that what is this one and this one so okay we can make this like here from row statistics I'm making graph again so insert new graph so from here I'm going to select this one okay now this is control one and this is treated one so in this way we can make graph for the uh, different groups and on y-axis we can directly write here that what is on y-axis so it is uh, let's suppose it is zone of inhibition and we can uh, make different colors from here or we can select more
okay thanks for watching my video in my next video i will come with another tool in which we will discuss t-test analysis or how we can perform t-tests thanks for watching my video allah hafiz